Here we are then, top of Fort Bill. It's got classic Scotland breeze going on. There is a new start ramp and the view today is incredible. So we're gonna have a little look, do a nice little track walk. As you can see, you drop in there and cut out this little bit. Oh, that is quite steep. Nice little rope, there's a gap there. Nice, it looks so fun to ride. I'm, I'm getting a bit hyped. Just gone through all the tight hands up there. It's all pretty basic stuff to be honest. Nothing really crazy going on. Just about to enter the first like, boardwalk thing. That man's looking pretty good. Cool. I haven't been here for a couple of years. Be cooking by now, I reckon. Yeah, I, lo I actually love these wooden things. They feel so nice to ride on. Huge dumb about the turn. To the biggest bit of boardwalks, boardwalk section. I remember sometimes I accidentally buzz the wheel with my bum here. A bit stupid, no? Through this section here, we're just going. Uh, 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 uh. Look at the trestle. There's a lot of rocks, guys. Look how many rocks there are, guys. Oh my god. So guys, there's a berm there guys, I think it goes left. So we just looked at that bit there, I was wondering if you could get squeezed between there or if you'd have to go around there or maybe even over the rocks. I was saying after this though, it's quite tight. That bit looks quite off camera too. This is down a little bit. This is the pinball section. Um, apparently you just go brakeless and it's fine. So we give that a go tomorrow. It's like the classic double drop bits. We're just trying to figure out this bit's way higher than this bit and it looks like you want to like hip into the bank as much as possible. Maybe off of there into it. That looks quite good. And look, like, the next bit's so blind, just like a fade away. It's actually right where Josh is. You just go like inside over to it or outside and down to it? Like there, maybe. Or like there. That berm's actually massive. These berms here all look way better than they used to a couple of years ago. I mean, that one still looks a little bit flat, but that used to be pretty heavy. But we'll have a look when we get there. There's so many like little weird rocks out. I suppose you just ride something nice that you like and then just stick to it. Yeah, like here and then. This town used to be so jank. Now it's just smooth. Yeah, it, it is quite rough. I do like the idea of getting that. Yeah, we can go over and then wide. You just smash along the outside. Oh, it's kicky, is it? Yeah, well, yeah. I remember being kicky. It feels like you're in the rocks for ages, but I suppose it is like most of the track, to be honest. And it's quite fast, so it's probably. It takes quite a while to walk compared to ride. Ooh. No, didn't fancy it. She was dabbing a second ago, guys. <sighs> this bit looks interesting. Looks like a lot of rocks. That one says something. I don't know what it says. That inside's no good then? Um, I can't remember any. If you could square off and get to it, it actually looks banging for like straight through and then like yeah, down. Just Onto the turn. Yeah, I feel like the shot can Big slab. That is sick. Yeah. Get a bit of inside action going on. I think so. Roll down that. Get that. It is quite a janky rocky town. It does look like just inside's the best though, doesn't it? This new bit looks so fun. 
<laughs> this used to go straight on here, so this whole new berm's new here. It's got a few braking bumps in it though, doesn't it? There you go, that's where I went last time I rode it. And then when we usually ride here at Nationals, we usually come down from there. Oh, this is what we usually gap. So you ride over that turn, and you can gap like off of this, but you can see like no one's ridden it really. That looks like just the main line down there, which makes sense actually, it sets you up really nice. Here's the bottom section below that. We're finally out of the top rocks, which is always nice. Um, I'm quite looking forward to seeing what's coming up. Are you? Yep. Look at you, little DMR, everything. Go and wide into this turn, you can't really see it because like the depth, but that's going to get some massive braking bumps. I quite like the look of going up there and then going wide because it's rocky. After looking down here, I do quite like the look of that. <laughs> Guys, we've come up to a jump. Oh, <laughs> okay. Into the woods we go. <laughs> right, good. Last time I rode, we went in that like water runoff. Now we're going through the main woods. Got a bit of line choice. Could drop down there to where he is, then left along the flat, or you can like come up here. This is super off camera. You can't really see on camera and pop across high. Um, I mean, there's even up there, but that looks too high for me, maybe. So, a few lines going on, people looking. What, a bit of a steep section? This, in, this section's like insane double drop section. Off of there, I reckon you can land down there somewhere. Try not hit some trees, keep going through. We're running through here, where it looks like you just shark fin out of there yeah we'd go way too deep here's the famous drop i might just like come in like that shroud there and hopefully the scrub will look good do you want to get a thumbnail video yeah, yeah. look how smooth and big these berms are they look sick don't they seems that there's an inside line i know loads of people have been riding up here like past three four weeks everyone's been up here it seems not me though Oh, inside or outside, James? Outside. Outside. Outside looks smooth, but people are obviously going inside. I can't say they ever did the inside. Looks like your trout. Sure. I can't do anything. This is all new to me. There used to be the big... I can't believe they got rid of the big oaky wall ride. That was like classic. That's so confusing there. I guess we go yeah. left. Yeah. It's quite a big inside there now. The outside's not really looking that on. Looks like the inside. Timing. <laughs> yeah, you still have to ride the wall. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. Wall ride like that in a World Cup track. So this is another new bit. Used to be a stump gap uh, to the right. Oh, it still is like quite a big gap. It is To the right. Oh, this one you gap over the rock straight now. Well, I think straight's quicker, guys. Maybe. <laughs> Brand new feature, man. Yeah, but it's not very blind. I like. Well, it's quite long, though. Here we are from the bottom. Sasha case pad there. That's where you're taking off from. You'll have to land. Yeah. Hopefully, this bit isn't going to be too kicky now. Land crank. So this jump, sometimes you see people roll, sometimes you see them pull. Usually roll so you can get a couple pedals in. You have to pull quite hard to get it. Hopefully with the new changes, you'll be carrying way more speed and everyone's just going to be jumping this and we're going to be flying into the motorway section. Yeah, a little inside maybe. Or just the berm and then first jump of the motorway. Probably, I'd like to say one of the most famous bits here. Completely redone since I've last been here. Oh, <laughs> way bigger than it used to be. Look. This first one, I've been told what speed to hit these. I think they said first one was a squash. So this one's the squasher. This one actually looks like quite a big lip, quite steep. I've heard this one you got to pull for a little bit as well, but maybe the speed we're going, maybe not. Ah, it's steepish, but it looks really smooth. This one looks nice. Get some bangers on this. This almost looks a bit steep as well. Oh, it's like a doubly. Thing. I'll just cruise off it. 
A step up after looks a bit bigger than it used to be as well. Well, it is way bigger than it used to be. It used to be tiny, so I imagine just like, cut up the lip. But he's uh, saying that he's just going to make it massive so you can just like back trip off it. Yeah, 100%. The triple, let's have a little. Probably not even like 200 foot to get to the triple, so I might just pull it. Nah. That is steep. Apparently, you just go brakeless and land somewhere down there. Oh boy. Big now? No, yeah, it looks it. Well, it looks way straighter. Way bigger than it used to be. That is way bigger than it used to be. This should be like a random lip on the side. Quite hard to judge with how big the case pad is. And there you have it. Big old finished towers. That's you at the bottom. So, would you ride it? I'm certainly keen to. Can't wait to get on it. Um, oh, sandstorm. See you in the next video, guys. <laughs>